in the garden a different season not your typical time you think of going to a garden and creating photos but I really like this season I like the quiet I like the textures I like the different look I like the way the light comes and goes oftentimes this time of year and when it's it is out it's so low in the horizon uh, especially here in the northwest of the USA uh, that you get this really dramatic uh, backlight often and you get 
this steel gray to the sky. So it's a different look and I really like that. That creates interest for me. Uh, and it's it's a time when the, the garden's usually a little quieter, although when I went was uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day here in the US. So there were lots of kids around. So it was a little noisier, but that's okay. It was good activity. Um, but a thought I had on some of these photos. Um, one of the things uh, you'll notice in this, this is one of my first times really testing out the macro capability of the 30 millimeter f2.8 uh, Fuji macro lens, and I really like it. Uh, it worked really, really well. It's really easy to use. Um, all these photos were taken without a tripod. So I leaned into the image stabilization in the uh, X-H2S, which I'm really grateful for. Um, the other habit I use for <laughs> hopefully getting a sharp photo when you're this far away from your subject with a with a lens is I use uh, the continuous low burst mode at about five frames per second. Uh, take three to five quick photos, and one of those will usually be pretty sharp between me moving just a little bit and Michael shaky hands and all that stuff. So that's my technique. I end up with a lot of extra photos, but uh, that works for me. Uh, for me, tripods, um, hauling them around is a pain, especially in the garden, that everyone, this time of year when everything's pretty squishy on the ground. And then the second thing that's a, a pain about tripods in my experience is I can't get them exactly where I want to be for the composition. Uh, either uh, there's no place to put the legs, or when you get the legs in the right position, the head is just not quite where you want it to be, and it's hard to create that composition just so. Somewhere in my future, if I continue with this, especially in the macro things, I might need to get one of those geared uh, tripod heads where you can be uh, really precise in your adjustments. It's on my wish list at B&H Photo. I have a birthday coming up in September. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, the other lens I use quite a bit here, you'll notice, was the 70 to 300 at about 300 millimeters for those situations where I couldn't get as close physically as I wanted to to the subject. Um, and I really love that lens too. My goodness, that's uh, a lens that's always with me. Uh, it works really, really well for the kind of photos I create. And then uh, the last photo thought here is thinking about... Um, process and results with these photos and and here's what I mean by that in in this set of photos uh while I enjoyed the day it was a really nice day but my my brain is kind of going in 12 different directions right now with preparing some online classes at Highline College and thinking about next quarter's online class as well so uh ugh, it was I I wasn't really calm in the moment of creating the photos I'm, I'm glad I went and it was really enjoyable but when i looking at the photos, so now that I've edited them uh, and processed them the way I like and gotten the mood and feeling with the photos, I really, really like this batch of photos. Uh, it reminds me of calm and quiet. Uh, it reminds me uh, of peacefulness and uh, kind of the gentle season that winter can be when it's quiet. So. The result of these photos is almost more enjoyable to me than the process um, because I really like the way these photos uh, turned out in the end. And so sometimes that's the way it goes. Sometimes it's the process of creating the photos that is more enjoyable than maybe the finished photos, but this one has a little more weight to me on the finished photos. I like photography for that. You never know how it's gonna turn out. You never know what you're gonna need on the day of or feel on the, the day of creating. So uh, be open to possibilities, be open to results, be open to process. I guess just be open. That's, that's the word for this video. Be open to possibilities. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quiet, somewhat tranquil video uh, with some photos from the garden and Bellevue Botanical Garden. Uh, look forward to uh, seeing any comments, thoughts, suggestions you have on this. As always, uh, please leave those in the comments below. Also appreciate the like button gently pressing. Uh, that helps in so many different ways, both me and you, and it's also appreciated. So uh, next week, uh, the plan is, uh, if all the stars align for schedule and other things, I'll be going back to Bellevue, uh, downtown Bellevue, not the, the garden. So uh, look forward to seeing you in that next video. So until we meet again, stay safe, stay well, and have fun creating photos. Bye for now. <laughs>